very good young comic. Here he is, Max Benjamin. Here he is, folks. Let him hear it. All right, how you guys doing? You doing good? Yeah. All right. So uh, dating is kind of weird for me because most of the girls that go for me have a thing for redheads, which means they're fucking crazy. <laughs> like, I'm not trying to date you if you have a mild clown fetish. Plus, I... I got the fro, I know, I know. <laughs> Plus, I do stand-up comedy, so if Carrot Top looked like he came out of Williamsburg, Brooklyn, I would have absolutely no game. <laughs> I'm glad my girlfriend's sitting in the front row for that joke. <laughs> That's gonna go well for me tonight. Um, but, like, uh, I'm redheaded, and everyone thinks I'm Irish, and I'm not, and it's becoming a problem. Like, the other day, my friend was like, hey, man, you got big plans for St. Patty's Day? And I'm like, uh probably just gonna get high and watch reruns of Seinfeld. <laughs> like I always do. It's gonna be fun. Fun. So has anybody gotten the uh, you win a free cruise phone call that's happening now? This thing? Oh, you, so you guys have heard of it. They're giving them away like candy, what the hell? I was like, I was just sitting at home and my phone rang and said the caller ID was from Seattle, Washington and I answered it because I know tons of people from Seattle, Washington. <laughs> I answer the phone, I'm like, hello? It's like, this is your captain speaking. I'd like to inform you that you've won a free carnival cruise. Just sent $5,000 to this undisclosed P.O. box to claim your prize. What? That's the craziest telemarketing strategy ever. Scaring the living shit out of you. Could you imagine if that worked for any other contest? You know, trying to win like radio tickets on something like Hot 97. You just call in, they're like, burr, 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 burr. You're the 97th call. You just won free tickets to see Nicki Minaj at Madison Square Garden. Do you have anything to say while you're on the air? What? What? I can't hear you on account of you just put an air horn in my fucking ear. I don't think I'll be able to go to any concerts because I'm deaf now. And thank you very much. So you guys like impressions? Doesn't matter, I'm doing them anyway. This is Pee Wee Herman. This is Chewbacca. So, um, I've come to the realization that It's My Life by Bon Jovi was the predecessor to YOLO. <laughs> Come on, think about it. Like, um, Bon Jovi sucks though. Like, uh, the song Wanted Dead or Alive. What the fuck do you know about being a cowboy? You're from New Jersey. <laughs> Seriously, Bon Jovi. You know more about not knowing how to merge on the turnpike than you do about rounding up cattle. So why don't you get off your high horse? Horse pun, always killing it. So, um, I'd like to try something a little different now. I've decided to combine my two favorite things artsy douchebag art and comedy, so I've got some sketches for you guys. I didn't even do the joke yet, oh my god, you're already clapping? This is a good one. All right, so uh, this is my girlfriend when she's on her cycle. All right, this is a guy wearing really nice camouflage shorts. Just do like a pan of the room, like th these people get to laugh, now these people, now you guys laugh, I'm sorry. All right, and finally, this is a really raging house party. Wait for it, guys, it's gonna be good. I like how this one's smoking a joint and it's coming out of his chimney. He knows how to house party. So, video games are getting way too realistic. Like, I played the new Mario Party game. They're taking the word party really literally. Like, I was playing, and it was set like this crazy frat party, and there was this techno dance music, and I had to slip roofies into Peach's drink, and I'm like, whoa, Nintendo. <laughs> Plus, you got Luigi doing lines of coke in the back, Mario's trying to drive his cart home drunk, no one knows who the fuck invited Wario, and every single character is high on mushrooms. <laughs> All right, so um, I'm going to tell you guys a story from my youth. So uh, I was in first grade, and um, I was going to music class, and we had a sub for music class one day. And um, the teacher gave us this disclaimer. She's like, all right, kids, uh, your sub has a kind of silly name today, so we're just gonna call him Mr. W. And Mr. W walks in the room, and the first thing he says is, hey, kids, my name's Mr. W. The W stands for wiener. Everybody <laughs> lost it. <laughs> Girls started taking off their shirts. Kids were pooping out the glue they just ate. I just started screaming at the top of my lungs. Like, my dream came true. A grown-up said wiener. <laughs> I didn't even know they knew that word. And not only like did he say it, it was his freaking name. In first grade, all you're thinking about is just wieners and farts and wieners and farts. It was just, I, it was too much for my brain to handle. I thank you guys so much. I'm Max Benjamin. You've been great.